Hey y'all, listen. So I feel like I've been pushed. I'm gonna try to make this short to give like um, my update. So I'm um, dealing with postpartum baby blues, depression. So there's like three stages, baby blues, depression, and then like postpartum psychosis. And I feel like um, there's a lot of tension in the media with the lady who um, took the lives of her children. I'm not gonna give my opinion on that. Um, I know they're saying that she was seeking help and they she was on medication and she felt like a zombie and all these other things my whole goal is to um bring postpartum depression to light like um, bring awareness to it i guess because there's a lot of women who don't talk about it especially um in the african-american community because some people feel like it's not a thing um it's very true that your hormones are out of whack postpartum can last you know up to a year after you have the baby um but recently i feel like a lot of people are like well, how can you be sad and be depressed when you have this beautiful blessing? And you're absolutely right. But we're also dealing with, you know, am I doing the right things? Am I fit as a mom? You know, when the newborns first come out, you have to watch for fever and cough. And there's RSV. We've already talked about these things. And then, you know, like now I'm struggling with milk production. So if anybody has any like good ideas for increasing uh, breast milk production, let me know. I'm doing mother's milk tea. I'm trying to eat um, fatty foods. I might get some lactation cookies. I haven't got to the... Um, Reglin those yet but i'm trying everything else pumping more it's kind of hard being back at work it's kind of difficult da, da, da. anyway go ahead and comment any of those things um because i don't want to miss that bonding time with my baby and anyway 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 so um i also want to bring to light too though that there's a lot of women like you know you get pregnant and you have all this bliss and you're like i'm gonna go in the hospital and i'm gonna have a baby okay well recently um i've experienced uh patients one who went into the hospital, did not come out with a baby. She still has to go through her postpartum depression, postpartum blues, because she actually still has to go through labor to deliver this baby that she doesn't get to take home. Another um, story was a woman who um, didn't get to go home with the baby, and then she also lost her life um, trying to deliver the baby, okay? Um, there's other situations where women go in and you don't expect your baby to be in a NICU or you don't expect um, to have to be in the hospital long because of your blood pressure or your sugars. You know, I've been there. I've had to be on magnesium. Like, you have all these things that stress you out, that worry, um, that worry you, and you're supposed to be like happy. But you know, with the hormones and then the stress, it is very easy to succumb to baby blues. And then if you don't talk to somebody about them, or if you aren't upfront about them, like they do these postpartum depression screenings, and some people aren't honest. You know, and some people are scared to talk about it. Like. I just want people to be aware that it is a thing. And if you have it, please talk to somebody. I don't care if it's therapy. Some patients do require medications and that's totally fine. Everybody has their own beliefs or whatever they feel is necessary for them. Do what's best for you. But please, 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 if you are sad or you're crying, yes, it could totally be, totally be hormonal and that's fine. But say something to somebody just to make sure that, you know, it's just that, you know, there's nothing wrong with, um, telling somebody being exposed so my whole goal is to bring awareness to postpartum depression um recently i have been devastated i have had some brick wall days man where i've just felt defeated honestly but i'm still here i'm leaving a message and you see the sun on the gleam you see the oh god is this glow this is the natural vitamin d you know that helps too so i hope y'all get out there it's nice weather anyway anyway hope y'all have a good day Holler at me if you have any questions. That's it. Holla.